So we've all been there. How do you control weeds while having animals? Uh, so we have four dogs, three Siberian Huskies and one Alaskan Malamute. And of course we have some landscaping. So you don't want to use any kind of pesticides, herbicides, any other sides. Um, but also you want to keep your property looking nice. Um, so a buddy of mine had reminded me about using salt with hot water and a little bit of dish soap. Um, what that does is the salt obviously inhibits, uh, basically creates an environment where it's unlikely any organic organism is going to grow. Uh, this is rooted throughout history, you know, um, like when the Russians were retreating uh, during World War II, uh, they would actually spread salt all over the grounds um, so that crops wouldn't grow for the French uh, with Napoleon. Uh, I mean, it, there's other countless examples, uh, not just that one, but uh, you can find it throughout history. So what I've got here is I've got hot water and two cups of salt. Uh, I used kosher, kosher salt, the coarse stuff, because uh, you know, it increased surface area with the water, helps with uh, dissolving it. Um, and then just a little bit of dish soap on top to get everything all to, you know, together to help it stick to the actual foliage. Um, so we're gonna give it a good shake. Don't want a large clump of salt down at the bottom that can't go through the uh, straw. You wanna leak it all over the place too, get it all over your hands and whatnot. This sprayer, uh, it's a Groundworks model, picked it up at the local tractor supply shop. Um, we're gonna pump it up, I'm um, gonna adjust the camera angle, pump it up, and then, uh, pump you up! And then we're gonna start spraying. So let me adjust the camera angle. I'll start that whole process. So these are very simple. Hard in the Crocs. It's late in the day. I don't wanna wear shoes right now. Seem to be running into some technical difficulties. Back. Did I mention I'm not a very smart man? Troubleshooting at its finest right here, folks. Ah, here's an issue. I don't know if it's the issue, but it's an issue. Steel. Let's readjust that a little bit. Screw back down. Now let's try this again. I tell you, whenever you've got something recording, nothing ever works right. Isn't that right, Wolfgang? Isn't that right? Let's open up this. Spray it all over yourself, all over the dog. Ah. That would be the issue. Got a clogged up nozzle. Oh, salty. All 
and I'll put those in the pocket for right now. Not the same pocket that has the camera cap. This is gonna waste a lot of salt and water. I'm gonna be right back after I clean out that nozzle. All right, we're back. Just took a uh, toothpick, cleaned it out, reaffixed the nozzle, and now she's working. Look at that. Working, working, working. And uh, I'm not really caring too much where I spray it because quite honestly, if I go over two or three inches onto the grass, it's just gonna make yard cutting and cleanup easier. So we'll start here and just keep on going. Now I should mention, you want to do this on days where it's not going to rain for a couple of days afterwards. When I say a couple, two is good, but three would be ideal. Um, in our area, we've been getting a lot of rain. A lot of rain. Uh, it's kind of abnormal for this time of year. Usually we get a lot of rain in mid to late April through maybe early to mid-May. Seems like that got pushed back about a month. So. Um, did the perimeter there. Now I'm just going to go through and methodically do the uh, inside of this little decorative stone walkway. And then I'm also going to do the edges of the patio. Um, and then we'll realign uh, and I will show you the inside of our garden, which I'm also going to do to keep those weeds under control. Good job, Wolfgang. You guys really wanted me to see 
me just step spill trip that's the word trip over that step i see yeah <sighs> Grab the mothership, head on over to the garden. Look at that patio furniture, isn't that nice? Except Wolfgang keeps chewing on the arm of one of the chairs. That's always great. There's the garden. All right, so if you can see back there, maybe you can't because of the glare from the sun. But if I move me into the shade, you might be able to see that over there is a lot of weeds. So we're going to take care of that right now. Hey there, Wolfer. <clears throat> Going up. Man, look at that garlic. Just look at it. Of course, we are right in the takeoff and landing path of our local airport, so enjoy that. Take a walk through the garden side. Right. There we go. Not an earthquake. Just some really bad camera work by somebody who has no idea what they're doing. That's all. All 
All right. Oh, going again. It's getting freaky. Whoa. Yeah, we'll grab this set too. All right, so we are gonna pause here. We're gonna realign for the uh, ex out exterior of the garden area. I'll figure out how to talk eventually. It's a lot harder on camera than in person, but we'll switch and then we'll take it from there. <sighs> All right, so I just figured out how to brighten up the picture. Hopefully you can actually see that this time. My apologies. Did I mention I'm terrible at this? Ah, you'll figure it out. Now, if I were really creative, I would find another use for this area rather than just killing them. At least I hope that's the outcome. We'll see. Do another uh, update in about a week. Maybe two. Yeah, we'll do it. You know what? We've got time. We're in no rush. We'll do two updates. We'll do a one week update. And we're going to spread the love around. All right. Cool. Now we just have a little bit left to do, and that is right here. Yeah, okay, see what the uh, settings are like. Yeah, you can see that kind of. Get in here. We'll do the stones, make sure nothing's growing in there. All right. So, what have we learned so far? I'm an idiot, that's one. Uh, number two, cheap, inexpensive garden sprayer, some salt, a little bit of soap, some hot water, and uh, you could be doing the same thing. So, yeah, we'll see you in a week, and then we'll do an update in two weeks. Take care. We'll see you then.